What's going on guys? This is Marcel Flores from One Dapper Street and welcome to today's video. Today's weather is being a little bit of a bitch, but I'm still gonna have to go outside because I'm meeting my friend Mark. By the time this video is live, he's already gone, but right now he's still in New York City. So I want to use today's video as an opportunity to walk you guys through what my two, there's basically just two pieces that I almost always wear when it's raining a lot. And that's weatherproof shoes and a weatherproof coat. I have two sets of that. I'm gonna show you guys my casual set of shoes and coat that I wear when it's raining and then somewhere in the future it's gonna be raining enough these next few weeks, months probably. I'm gonna show you my classy version of that same combination. But let's just take a look at where I started my outfit today. So here we have my ripped top man jeans. These are my absolute favorites right now. I, if I honestly, if I didn't have to change every now and then for you guys to see other outfits, I would probably wear, th wear those every day. There. And here we have the first piece. These are sneakers from North 89. My friend Gustav in Stockholm designed them. It's his company. And these are weatherproof. Yes, they're low atop, so water can technically still splash inside. Doesn't prevent that from happening, but if you're being smart about it, these shoes will keep your feet dry. And they look cool. Like, I think a big issue with a lot of the, you know, rain boots is like, I like rain boots, but it's a very particular look. If you just want to wear what you usually wear, but have waterproof options, then these shoes or this coat are a great option. This coat is from Stutterheim, another Scandinavian brand. They just have it figured out, their rainwear up there. And I just want to say, today it's kind of cold out, so this is going to work, but you can't wear this when it's even just a little bit warmer. It, the, the air gets trapped, you get very sweaty. But as soon as it's cold, it's amazing. It keeps you warm and keeps all the water out. And you have like a canvas-like lining on the inside, so it's quite comfortable to wear on the inside. You can see wearing it on my bare skin right now. As a reminder, I put my pieces on like I put the outfit together. So then I grabbed my Woolrich sweater. Uh, it has a nice little pocket detail with like a heat, heat tape application. And as you can see, kind of dictated by the sneakers, the look is very black and navy. So this sweater is just like in tune with all of that. It's actually kind of a dark, I'm not entirely sure still whether it's a dark navy or whether it's actually just a light black, but it's what it is. Underneath, I'm wearing the shirt because the sweater itself is just a little bit short. So just to elongate the silhouette underneath a little bit, I'm wearing my cost shirt right now. It's super comfortable and it's kind of breathable, which again is kind of important with this look just because the coat itself is already like not breathing at all. Lastly, I'm just flipping down my cuffs, which I don't do a lot, you guys know that, but I figure I'm gonna keep my ankles as dry as the rest of my body, my knees accepted, and just cuff those down, roll those down. And then we have accessories in the theme of navy and black, we have my coach duffel bag, which is a leather bag. It's not weatherproof, but it's definitely water resistant. We have my black and navy Triva watch, I'm going all out with the black and navy today. <laughs> And then we have these shades, obviously, because it's gonna be very... No, not just kidding, I'm sorry. Just choking around with myself. <laughs> um, so that's the whole look. I feel like the two accessories really helped it come together a lot more. I don't know if you guys agree, but, uh, you know, just flipping up the cuffs now on the sleeves to add a little bit of the white that we see throughout um, on the jacket. And that I'm happy with. And if you don't believe me that I actually stayed kind of dry in this, let this cinematic video prove you wrong. Okay guys, and that's that. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys got some inspiration in terms of what you can do when it's 
watering outside, raining, most people call it. I call it watering because I'm German. In terms of your style and just like how you would keep it similar to what you usually wear, Again, this was the casual version. I'm kind of excited to show you guys the more dressy version. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you're thinking about right now. And tell me what you will be thinking about. If you're not subscribed to my channel just yet, make sure you do so because you have a lot more videos coming. The next one's coming up on Saturday. And it's going to be a banger. I promise you. You will appreciate that one. So I'm really excited. And I... So I'm really excited and I'll see you guys on Saturday. Until then, stay dapper. Bye guys.